Uh, uh, first and foremost, no, we are not responsible. First and foremost, let me appreciate an opportunity for us to respond to an incident, unfortunate incident that happened yesterday. Uh, we, we, we extend our cons condolences to members who have lost their lives. And uh, let me start by saying, first and foremost, our church fellows in Zirbekom are not truthful and honest. Allow me to qualify this. When the feud started in 2016, when uh, our comforter, uh, His Grace M.G. Modise, uh, passed on, Mr. Abel Wesi, whom you already interviewed yesterday uh, and at the briefing today, was part of the congregation that was congregating at Zirbekom that um, uh, 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 Comforter M.G. Modise left at the headquarters in Zirbekom. At the time, obviously, there was somebody who was supposed to take over. And Sepiso Modise was the one who put himself forth that he's uh, the anointed uh, person to take over. But the congregate, uh, congregation uh, disapproved him, as it were. And uh, to cut the long story short, at that time, obviously, uh, we went to court. And uh, uh, at that time, Leonard Modise, Sepiso's brother, went to court and disposed of, actually, an affidavit that support his brother, that his brother is the one who was anointed. Uh, uh, Priest Abel Wesi was on our side at the time, between 2016 and 2017. He was at some point the chairman of the executive council. At that time, the, the group that Leonard was leading was called PGB, right? They were congregating somewhere in Lenesia at a workshop, right? So between 2016 and 2018, that's where they were. In essence, a priest Wesi was with us, but it so happened that there was an incident that involved uh, pornographic issues where he was supposed as a priest to come and account to the council at the time of the behavior. Instead of coming to, 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 the, to, the, to the council and account for the, for the behavior, and he left and, and, congre and went to Lunesia where Leonard Modise was leading his BGP group. Then in October... 2018, they, 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 they were from 2016, they were congregating in Indonesia. We were, we were the group now, that it's, 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 it's now referred to as a splinter in Jerusalem. We were congregating uh, 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 at Zilibako. That include Mr. Magwana himself. He was part of us, right? Then in October 2018, uh, the week leading to the Saturday of the 27th, the, the, the council of the congregation at the time uh, resolved uh, to, to, to appoint a leader of the church, right? Then the big, big group heard about this, and then they went and uh, cooked up a plan to invade uh, Zilberkop. They invaded Zilberkop on the 27th of October at about 3 a.m. in the morning. It was a Saturday. On Friday the 26th, we reported that incident because our intelligence told us that they were coming to invade uh, Zirbekom. They came to invade Zirbekom. Some of our members were here a.m. in the morning. We went to the Sabbath service as normal uh, congregants to go there and, and for, for a Sabbath service. When you go there, the invasion happened. We see people that we haven't seen in, in over two years. So that's how Leonard occupied Zirbekom. This issue of saying uh, uh, the, 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 the leader of a congregation in Jerusalem uh, is, is hijacking uh, the church is not true. They were the ones that hijacked the church. They were the ones who invaded. They were not there. They left. Why? Because the congregation did not want uh, uh, Leonard's brother. Leonard's brother, uh, Leonard was supporting his, his brother. What happened on the weekend of the 27th? On Monday of that weekend, they went and invaded Jerusalem. They even stole man, uh, money there, approximately 500,000. They left Jerusalem. They went to illegally occupy uh, Kanana, the one that they said uh, uh, we, 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 we took by force and by ammunition. I'm going to come to that. Then what happened, it, 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 it were a matter of uh, uh, court proceedings, uh, as it were. But they did not stop there, right? Remember now, I've counted already. They were out. 
they came on the 27th, they invaded, they invaded Jerusalem, they invaded Canana uh, in Varampat. Then they continued to invade individual branches. One of them that uh, appeared in media was a Takane branch. They were arrested. There were many branches in Limpopo where they invaded the, 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 the branches, they beat the children of our father, they even uh, injured our elders, the priests, right? We went to court in, in, in Limpopo. As I speak to you, in June last year, the, the, the Limpopo High Court ordered in our favor that PGP group must stop invading the branches. The branches belong to IPHC in that uh, under the leadership of uh, His Grace successor MG Sanda. That, that we have a legal standing in that regard. It did not stop there, right? The issue of Cape Town, that they are saying we invaded uh, Cape Town by force, that is not true. PGP group, they, between 2016 and last year, June, we, Priest Abel Wesi, Mpomakwana, they were leading preparations to go to, uh, to Cape Town. We were doing this together, right? So la last year, because they already invaded uh, uh, Silo under the pretext that uh, Silo is the headquarter. Then they went to, to Mount Zion in Cape Town. But then we were aware of the situation. We went to court for an interdict. You know what they did? The interdict was issued. You know what they did? They faked, they forged the interdict. They went forcefully to help the service there. And then what happened? Because there was security that uh, 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 guard uh, the area. Obviously, when that few such happens, security do their job to say, who are you? Why are you here? Because you are not supposed to be here, right? And the police were reported. So why I'm giving you this context to show that now they are playing victim is as if uh, the group congregating in Jerusalem is the one that uh, uh, is invading. That is not true. We dispute that. Yes. It was publicly anointed by the former leader of the church, the late Jason Mugite, at his wedding. And that's the reason why they say he's the rightful and legitimate leader. What, what, what was said at that wedding subject to many interpretations? That was not an anointment. He never uttered in his words that I'm anointing him. It was at the wedding where, where he said, uh, Leonard's grandfather said, Leonard is me. Then he named him after his name, Frederick. As you know, the founder of this church is Frederick. Is that anointment? No, that is not anointment. I'm not going to get into detail as to who is qualified or who is not a leader because that is a, is a matter that is subjudicated. So who's anointed? Who was anointed? Uh, uh, that's why I'm saying we, we won't get into details. Right? There's a process uh, that Protests. What are those protests? No, no. Does the church have a succession plan? No, it doesn't. There's no succession plan. But the constitution says 
the, the sitting comforter shall prepare uh, the, 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 the successor, right? Now, one thing which unfortunately I cannot say because uh, is, is, is a ritual at our church is how, uh, how is he prepared the successor? So that's why we are saying as the council of the church, we know the practices, we know what needs, uh, we know the stages. For example, I'll tell you one thing. Uh, Leonard and Sepiso, uh, according to the ranks of the church, they are children. You need to, have, to be a child, you need to be baptized to go to a certain level, you need to be a priest before you even become a comforter. So neither Leonard and Sepiso have gone through those st stages. You see, I'm a priest. But Leonard, at the time that a uh, uh, comforter, M.G. Modise, passed on, they were not priests, let alone they did not go through the healing uh, 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 ritual. So that is why I'm saying uh, that, unfortunately, is an internal and a ritual process that I cannot say. But as the priests and elders of the church, we know what is that process. So what Never mind, there's the no succession plan. Have, then, to appoint somebody to be the head of the church? Obviously, as the leadership of the church, as the council, because of the processes that I'm mentioning. Because in the interim, there's no leader at that time. Uh, they lead the church. They have the legal duty and a fiduciary duty to lead the church. They had powers in the absence of a leader as the church. So there are allegations that Michael Sanzana is also claiming to be the son of uh, the former Clayton Mulise. Uh, How true are these allegations? Is he claiming... Um, the son of the former leader? In, 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 in as far as the congregation we are concerned, that is a family matter. Uh, I personally didn't know him, but we, based on the, the processes, the proceedings that we saw in him, that this is the leader. But as for whether he's uh, the son uh, of M.G. Modisa or not, we don't want to get in there. Because the founder himself said that this church is not a family church, is not a Modisa church. Anyone can see it. It can be a Chinese, it can be a Zulu. He said that. So in this regard, accepting uh, uh, his grace, Mr. Sandlana, is not the question of even uh, profiling him as to whether he's a son or not. We are not there. All his, his, his followers in Jerusalem, we are not there. We've heard that they are talking about will and DVD. I mean, will and we are not even there. We don't even want to see it. Uh, that DVD. We don't even want to see the will because we saw in him that this is him. The question uh, that, that has come in, I know you said um, with regards to the attack yesterday, I would like us to go back. Yes. Everything that we, we heard from location at the church says indicates Bob Sunday. Yes. Say, okay. All yes. of them are saying mm. you, your part from a certain church had a hand in that. Mm. The text would be last night saying, you know, exactly how it happened and how those people got there and how they got to that. Please elaborate on that. No, basically, in the context that I gave, in all the invasions that happened, right, like I said, we left as, as Zirbekom under the circumstances I've explained, right? Zirbekom is our church, right? In, on the 1st of November, when we were preparing uh, the inauguration of Mr. Sandlana, our men's guild went to Silo to prepare for inauguration, but they were hailed with bullets, right? Innocently so. That was covered in the media, in actual fact. It's there, it's public knowledge. Why did that happen? Secondly, the incident that happened yesterday, uh, uh, the reports uh, are saying uh, there, there were five uh, uh, people that were killed or that died. You know who those members are? They belong to us in Jerusalem. They congregate in Jerusalem. How can our members be killed when we were the one who went there to kill? But they were killed. Under what circumstances? I mean, the police arrived there at three. They disarmed those who had arms. And those, those uh, 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 people who died, those who were burned, it happened at about 6 or 7 a.m. in the morning. There was a sunrise already. Where were the police at that time? And w w w what happened to, to, to the police to protecting them? Did, did, were, were they not disarmed? If you say that those were your members, what were they doing there? No, but that's why I'm saying to say that is our church because uh, that is, is, we can go there at any time, right? But when our members go there because we belong to Sandlana, to, to Sandlana then a fight ensued. 
That's what happened. We, under the circumstances, we also don't know ourselves. The matter is under the police investigation. We are also asking our members who were there, who the police are in, uh, uh, seeking statement from them as to what exactly what happened. But we know that our members were there. That we know. Maybe I think for clarity's sake. Yes. So the Jerusalem, the Jerusalem effect, if I can call it that, thing, yes. for lack of a better uh, clarity, yes. they still attend church as they go regardless. So, so you are allowed to go there to a church? Yes, basically we can. Okay. Basically we can. But because we belong to somebody, we must only uh, 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 worship uh, Leonard. Then when they come, they get asked, who are you? And then the fight ensued. No, we now we belong to this. We now pull who, like you said on the video footages, like you had. Uh, 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 do you know Santana? Oh, no. When I Santana in that, but uh, what, what is that? And the weapons that are found? Uh, that's why we are saying the weapons that were found. We ask ourselves. I can tell you this, and uh, I say this without uh, 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 fear or favor. There's a right hand man, a bodyguard of Leonard Modise, who is a Metropolis officer. He called their police, his friends, that don't have jurisdiction in Zirbekov to come. They were driving uh, two, two, two golf uh, uh, polos. Is it golf or polos? But two of them, right? We ask ourselves because the, the reliable sources tell us the members who were killed and banned, they were actually the ones who were held hostage inside. Those members were killed inside and they were dragged outside uh, to be banned to hide evidence. We will submit that to the police. That's all that I want to say about what happened uh, yesterday. Because you ask yourself, I mean, those guns that were there, so many as, as they were, first, first there was, there's no one who died, who was shot at, uh, who are members of the Zirbekom group. But five of our members died. How come? With all those guns that were displayed there. We even dispute uh, those guns as to whether they, 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 they belong uh, uh, to our members. Taking it back to what happened yesterday, one of the eyewitnesses said that when the people stormed into the church um, and they broke down the, the fence, they were basically uh, chanting Dao, Dao, and apparently that is also um, a nickname used uh, for Michael Fanzana. Yes. Why would you think that your own congregation would want to blame you um, for the happenings that we saw yesterday um, at your headquarters? Look, look, no, the, the shunting of Tao, Tao, it was not uh, the shunting of uh, uh, protest. It, it, it was a praise. Basically, Tao comes from a, a, a religious uh, or a, a worship phrase of Tao Yali Lukula Juta. I'm sure you know that song. Basically, it's the phrase uh, that uh, Jesus was praised uh, uh, of as Tao Yali Lukula Juta. So that Tao, Tao, that's affectionately what we call uh, uh, our leader, Mr. Sandler. That's what Tao, so the Tao, Tao chanting was not a, 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 a protest, but it was to worship we are the children of Tao, Yali Lukula Juta. So why would uh, your own congregation want to blame your branch for what happened yesterday? Why, why, why do you think they would single you out if you are saying that these allegations are incorrect? No, look, like I'm saying, I've narrated the history of how things happened. They are not honest, they are not truthful, and they are playing victim. So that's, that's what happens. That's why the blame comes to us. I've explained things that they've mentioned. I mean, Kanana, for example, in Pinal Shrefil, in Varampat, they say, uh, uh, Priest Abel Wesi say, we, 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 it is our op uh, modus operandi uh, to acquire facilities and properties by force. That is not true. I mentioned uh, with, with Cape Town, we have a court order by the Western High Court. I remember I told you, uh, there was an, evict uh, an interdict that they forged and, 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 and uh, forcefully went into service. We have a court order in our favor that that property belongs to the church. You know why? Because Leonard and Sepiso, they are not repre re uh, representing the church. They are presenting themselves as Modices. They are not representing the church. So there's a court order. We did not acquire that property forcefully. Same thing with Kanana. In 2016, uh, the Limpopo High Court issued a court order giving the church ownership of that. Like I said, in 2018, they occupied it illegally. On, in January, when uh, we took over the property, it was through the implementation of the sheriff of the court. We've got the uh, legal documents, it's public knowledge. The, the question that we would have posed to the other side, yes. to you as well, is there no form of reconciliation where the two factions can sit down 
and I just now to avoid bloodshed. Look, uh, the processes are in place. Unfortunately, like I said, the matter has been going in and out, in and out of court uh, from 2016. And uh, His Justice Kolapen tried to mediate, right? Like I'm saying, uh, between Sebiso and Leonard, uh, they are the ones who are fighting, right? But uh, our leader is not fighting. So, but we, we, we are open, right? We are open, but there are processes, like I said, there are rituals that need to be followed. Like I said to you, it's, it's very clear, it's non-negotiable. You are Leonard, you are Tsepiso, you need to be at this stage, and uh, somebody's at this stage. How do you get over him when you are not? Some people have criticized what's happening right now, this leadership battle, saying that it's all about money. Everybody wants to get their hands on the money, because the church is worth millions. Are you fighting for money? No, we are not. We are not. And uh, 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 interestingly, in four or five occasions, the Zirbacom group have been a forgery and even a signing a, 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 what you call, a, 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 for lack of a better word, a, a orders or resolutions a, wanting to access the money that a, 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 the Hawks freezed or the police investigation freezed since the, the, the fight started in 2016. Right? In four or five occasions, ranging from 400 million, the last one happened last month where they needed 60 million rand. And you know what they did? They came to us right, and said, can we go to the bank and, and share the 60 million and get 2020? We refused. We refused. They said, no, can we get 2020, 2020? We refused. As it's not about money. It's not a, in actual fact, all the properties right, that uh, uh, they've mentioned, the Cape Town, there's a zone 10 where the, 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 the first headquarter was as the church group. There's Jerusalem, there's Libotrana. We pay all the maintenance and cost for that without worrying anyone. This is not about money. It is not about money. And where is the Michael Fanzana? Because, I mean, he, everybody is, is talking about him, you know, because they're singling out, him out, saying that he's responsible uh, for this attack. What does he think of what is going on right now? But uh, I am here on behalf of church and uh, by virtue of that, on behalf of him. Yes, yes. But yes. Yeah, where is he? You know, what does he think of what? I'm sure you've communicated with him. Yes, um, yes. You know, what does he say about him being blamed for what's happening in Zephyrcom? Look, 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 um, he's, he's, he's in a sorry state about what is, is, it happened yesterday. He's not happy at all. I mean, uh, uh, the media or the, 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 the people that are reporting to media about the incidences blame him. And it's not for the first time. The, you, you, you go now to social media and you see the insult they hell against him. And he's a very, very, very highly spiritual uh, leader. And he's, he's, he's not retaliating or doing, he's very bad. If you go to social, they insult, they call him illegitimate child, all things that I cannot even mention uh, in the media. So, but he's there. He's in a sorry state. We support him. He's there. And he's, he's a very, very spiritual uh, this thing of saying his satan is this, that is not true. And by the way, what happened yesterday have given the context between 2016 and uh, 2018. Mr. Santana was not there. Not even in the, not, not even pictured, but there were fights. People died, but Mr. Santana was not there at all. Between 2016 and October 27th, Mr. Santana ascended to the throne on the 3rd of November. I, I, I saw him for the first time on the 31st when we met him to prepare for the first time with all the fights that started in 2016 uh, and, 20, and 2018. Has he been brought in for questioning by the police yet? Uh, that I'm not sure. Uh, that, but I'm sure because he's, he's uh, in the police uh, hands, I'm sure they will, they, they will get to him. The, the one thing that struck out uh, when you were said is that they have to, as we say, of how uh, President Leonard II and the Sandwich team become leader of the church. Yes. And they were saying, as we heard on the and Bruce and tell us how they say their leader yes. to be the leader of the church. Yes, yes. Look, maybe let me clear uh, the response of saying, uh, where was I on the 28th and all that. Like I said earlier, uh, Mr. Magwana said that uh, I must uh, uh, respond and account for my moral authority. Uh, on the 28th, on the 27th, when this happened, 
I woke up in the morning in Sabbath and went to church like anyone else. When we got there, we found the church was invaded upon. That's why I was there. Hence the following week, I was not there because I knew I don't belong there with the people that uh, uh, I do not know. But be that as it may, coming uh, 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 back to your question, like I said, at a wedding, certain words any father would say, I mean, uh, 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 Tabi, so you know, you, you, you may have been named uh, after your grandfather. It happens. It's our culture. That's what happens, right? So that is the proof that they have. Nothing else, right? That is the proof. Tepiso will also have his own proof, uh, 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 as it were. We are saying, based on what we saw, right, uh, uh, in Mr. Sanjan, what we saw, we believe in that compared to what we didn't see in Leonard and Tepiso. I'll, I'll tell you one example, right? Since uh, uh, our comforter, uh, Mr. Sanjana, uh, uh, ascended to the throne, uh, on the 3rd of November. He has held three healing sessions, right? Three that uh, IPAC is known for. Tepiso and Leonard haven't. And that is the core. The healing service of IPAC is the core, is the foundation of this church. But they haven't. Why? So are you saying that Tepiso and um, Leonard are forcefully trying to be at the helm of the church because of their father? They, they, know, they know the truth, yes. Hence, I'm saying in all, in all the, the court proceedings, there's no, by the way, there's no, it's, 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 it's open to public uh, uh, access, actually. There's no way where Tepiso or Leonard fight for the church or they say this, they are fighting for the leaders because of the Senate. They don't have interest of the church. IPAC, Jerusalem, has an interest in all. Where it refers to IPHC is Jerusalem. In all court papers, all over a dozen uh, of, of, court, of, of court proceedings that are currently going is IPHC in Jerusalem, that is IPHC. On the other hand, they say a leader of any institution would be based at the headquarters. And coming back to why Jerusalem yes. tried to invade the headquarters yes. to claim the legitimacy. Uh, no, no, it's not the question of uh, headquarters, right? I mean, headquarters can be anywhere. Headquarters can be moved. And by the way, spiritually, uh, those are facilities, right? We can go under the tree and worship and get healed. So those, as it, as it were, like I'm saying, by the way, the invasion of, of Silo by Leonard is a matter of the court as well. There's a court. In actual fact, uh, it could have proceeded, but because of lockdown, it didn't, right? So, so we are not saying we want to go there or go back there because it's a headquarter, as it were. No, that is our facility, just like our facility in Jerusalem is a church, our, fa our facility in Cape Town is a church. So Zirbekom is IPAC, doesn't belong to Leonard or to Tepiso, as uh, Modi says, no. Uh, just another question, I mean, if you are uh, relating the speech of the Bible, which is love, forgiveness, and especially in Israel, don't you think that perhaps you should be teaching that yourself? by sitting and forgiving each other. Look, uh, IPAC is known as the Church of Peace and Love, right? So we all yearn for that peace, right? We are humans, we have emotions. We preach that to our co congregation. I'm a priest. We preach peace, we preach harmony, we preach love, so right? But, but really under the circumstances, like I'm saying, we can even live, live, uh, the, the congregates out of this, right? And look as to who are actually uh, uh, battling for this thing. And you will realize that, I mean, as, as congregates, there's peace and love, but there's some forces elsewhere that fight for power, right? That's what lead to this. Maybe in the midst of that fight, uh, those who are fighting for this power, they can't relent, right? To say, you know what? We just need uh, to give on or to give up, then these things happen. But in our hearts, in our minds, in our souls, we do preach peace, we do preach harmony and love. Would you talk about the, the congregation? Yes. Uh, IPAC, IPAC is, is estimated to be about 3.1 million congregants mm -hmm. now. Branches in South Africa, yes. uh, in 
started reason yes as well as uh, the with the change of branch in London. Yes. Who 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 do these branches speak to? Yes. If the top yes. Okay. yes. Who do these branches say this is who we follow or this is where we take leadership from? It's 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 a very good question. Under the leadership of his grace successor M MG Sandlana, we have three hundred and fifty branches that reports to him. And I can tell you, if Zirbekom can tell you they've got more than 20, they'll be lying. Because that's almost the entire network of the branches in Sadek, like you have Meshik. Uh, yes, like I'm saying. Yes, yeah. Like 350 as we speak, they report to his great successor, MG Sanjan. And that's about how many in number? Uh, look, because of uh, uh, the Zirbekom and then the Springs, but all I can tell you, we are the majority. The Jerusalem congregation is the majority with the uh, Zirbekom and the Springs combined. We are the majority. I may not have able to state the exact numbers at the moment, but we are the majority. And they know themselves. And what do the congregants say when they see this happening? No, obviously it's sad. They would want to know. Hopefully our response, uh, 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 we are Lafias. I mean, like uh, 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 Leonard said to say, you know what? We are people of love. We are people of peace, but congregation is silent. Like I say, you, you take congregation away from this. They want to know what is happening. What is happening? Because, I mean, it's locked down. Uh, they haven't been to church, so, and they see this. It, it, it's, it's not good news at all. It's not good news. But our father, uh, his grace, successor, M.G. Sandliana, has sent uh, uh, messages to the congregation to say, calm down, we are sorting out the situation, things should be fine. And we are grateful for that. On the way here to you, we picked up that the CRL is saying they're willing to mediate between the two factions. Yes. Within the next couple of weeks, they would like to have a sit down with both yes. factions. Yes. Are you open to that? Because we, the reason I asked that particular question, yes. when I asked whether you'd be able to sit down yes. with the other side, your answer came back as a, as a, a definite no. Mm. The same vice versa when we asked that side, mm. they said, no, no, Sandana is a fight. Yes. We will fight all the time. Yes. You said the same thing. No, Leonard is a fighter. Mm. They do not want to listen to him. Mm. Obviously, there seems to be a division between the two. Sure. If there's a meeting mm. at the CRL, if they can sit down, would you guys, these factions, they would sit down and come with a solution? Or it's your way or no way? In actual fact, you, you ask a very, very good question because it's not for the first time. CRL actually called us, right? For that, for that mediation, and they called uh, Leonard to come. He did not pitch, but we are willing. If CRL says come and let's hear, we will go to CRL. We are compliant. We don't want to see this uh, going. We actually urge and plea uh, to law enforcement to sort this out as soon as possible. But if CRL says come, uh, the two parties, and let's try to me mediate, we will go, because it's not for the first time. CRL called us and they caught Leonard, right? We agreed, we went, but Leonard didn't come. Thank you very much. Yes, no, thank you. Thank you. Yeah, no, thank you. Yeah. <laughs>